In this part of the tutorial, we're going to be working on the wheels of the aircraft. So we can create the wheels by using cylinders again. Draw your cylinder and then position it using your front and back views, your left and right views. Give your cylinder three height segments and then right click on your cylinder select editable poly and then select your polygon mode select both or you can just select your, your whole wheel by selecting element then go into polygon mode hold down alt and so uh, just select the um, the back and the front of your wheel as seen here. Once the two sides are selected, hold down control and click on edge at the same time. That allows you to select the edge of your wheel. Next, we're going to click on chamfer. We're going to chamfer them and let's uh, chamfer it to be that's the 0 0.1 next click on your polygon mode and Make sure that both of your front and the back of your wheels are selected. Give it an inset. I'm going to say 0 point, 0 0.3. And we're going to extrude this inwards uh, 0 0.08 and then give it another in the inset but this one is going to be a very small one uh, 0 0.03 and then we're going to do another inset but this one's going to be a little bit larger make it a 0 0.3 320 0 0.32 and extrude outward zero point zero eight and I'll do one more inset. of 0 0.03 the next step is we want to select this and this edge click on loop and then click on chamfer and we want to chamfer them two times with a chamfer of 0 0.01 Then we want to select the very center edge, click on loop, and we want to select our scale command, and we want to scale them inwards. Next right click and paste instance of the turbo smooth, and when we click on our turbo smooth, 
we should get some some bends in the in our wheel like that. That groove is a bit too big for my liking. So I'm going to expand it again here. About there is pretty good. That's a bit better. So that's one of your wheels. So now, let's space our wheels appropriately. Hold down shift and drag so it copies our wheel out. And we can attach each of these wheels together. And shift and drag again. And attach them. So now we have the wheels here. Next we can use a cylinder and draw a central cylinder here. This is going to be the bar between all the wheels. position it accordingly. Height segments take them all the way down to one. Right click an editable poly and then go to edge mode select your bar click on connect and give it a two segments with a pinch of 90. So this is going to be the bar that connects all the wheels. And now what we need to do is select cylinder, and we're going to create a cylinder between these two. Make this get a little bit smaller make sure that the cylinder is inside each wheel right click on the cylinder click on editable poly select element select polygon deselect the um, cylinder except for the both both the size of the cylinder and then delete them And now just copy, hold down shift and drag, and copy our cylinder over. And then click on editable poly, attach for the wheels. And let's attach all the cylinders here. And when we turn on Turbo Smooth, we should have a set of wheels. Now, of course, the wheels can be modeled 
to be a whole lot more detailed than this. This is very a simple uh, set of wheels, but it will do for our tutorial here. Let's make the ends of these wheels a little bit better. Select that end there, and that end there. And let's um, scale them down a little bit. And then let's inset. Maybe we can even extrude. Um, actually, that's pretty good. Extrude inwards. And then when we press our polygon mode, it looks fairly nice. All right, so the very next part is we need to attach them to the wings. And pretty much that's just another cylinder. One thing we can do is we can go to our um, reference, um, reference folder and to make it more accurate, right click on one of the images there and view it to see the um, how the wheels attach to the aircraft and pretty much it's a fairly big cylinder that goes down one cylinder that attaches to the wheels and then it's got these two uh, hydraulic lift arms that are attached to the body of the cylinder here So that's all what we need to do. Let's select our cylinder. Create a cylinder in the very bottom. Drag upwards. Right click on this cylinder and select editable poly. Click on element and then click on polygon and alt deselect so we can delete both of the edges ends. Select border. Click on the top of your new created um, tube and then drag it up into the wing. Now to make the tube a little bit more uh, interesting, let's uh, select edge and we can slice it in half. Click on um, drag a selection box around all the edges. Click on connect and give it two segments. Enter. Select polygon and select the newly created um, selection. Click on extrude and let's say well, we're going to click on local normal and give it a um, let's reduce it slightly we can do it again at the bottom here And we can select the bottom here when we select edge. And we can make it smaller. Now let's click on our wheels and we're going to select the editable poly and attach and attach that to the wheels. 
let's texture the wheels again. And let's select our wings and editable poly and attach to the wheels. And we have the first set of wheels here. When we click on our airplane, activate Turbo Smooth. Those are some fairly nice wheels. So pretty much it's the exact same uh, process for creating um, the uh, front wheel, except for the front wheel. Except for the front wheel, we do not attach to the aircraft. Clone to object. So it creates its own object here. Click on hierarchy, effect pivot only, and center to object. position our wheels accordingly. I'm going to take this, position this in front. Make this a little bit smaller. And we need one of those bars. I'm going to select wireframe and I'm going to select vertex. I'm going to select this and we can extend this into the cone there. Extend this into the wheel and attach. and paste the turbo smooth and there we have it we've got the front wheel and we've got two back wheels <laughs>